Well, that. I don't have you, Paul. You you dissed me, so I just have to cuddle with a little small creature. You have to bring something. <laughs> What's um, up? You're, you look like you're. Are you in jail? Yeah, I'm in jail. That's that's why I couldn't make it to the Brothers Bond right. studio. All right. Well, I should get. I should, but you know, I, they serve alcohol in jail, so they serve yeah, they, bourbon. Tremendous amounts of it. Hey, look, bro. After a long week, dude. Look at this. Look at what we did to this bottle. There's a few of those, huh? <laughs> what is up, everybody? It's Paul. It's uh. So I get confused. Who's who? He, it's Ian. Ian slipping. He wants to be me. All right. It's Ian and Paul, and we are here together. We are with you all on the Brothers Bond Instagram. We are. We've never done this before, so it's super badass. So thanks for thanks for doing this. Um. Wow. Like. I'm going to wait for a couple more people to get on, but you know, what an amazing day we've had. Paul and I have been sitting literally right here since seven o'clock this morning. Um, wow. It just what you all have given us in regards to this brand. It's just been amazing. And right, today, Paul? Today's Bourbon Heritage, well, today, this is Bourbon Heritage Month. Yeah. And uh, what a great way to kick it off, huh? With yeah. like, with everybody. Just yeah. keep, we had a press day. To, oh, sorry, I mean to cut you off, brother. Good. No, no, it's keep going, man. You speak. We had a we had a press day today. Paul and I sat here. We got to talk to some unbelievable uh, people and and outlets, and you know we got to release uh, this this huge press release. I, two yeah, two days ago now. Uh, we have officially shipped 50,000 cases in four months. Um, of that 50,000 cases, there's a tremendous amount of depletion, which means it's not that we ship the cases, that they're literally gone. Um, and they're going into reorder, which means people have bought them or consumed them. We're just so stoked. We're so happy to be here with you. Um, so thank you. Yeah, and we appreciate you guys following us on Brothers Bomb Bourbon. Uh, our, our, our Instagram page and, and for, you know, wanting to be a part of this community. Um, it's, uh, you know, what we're doing here is we're bringing, you know, what our hope is, our, our goal is to bring people together. You know, it's really a movement to bring people together and form a sense of community. And, and then, you know, Where we are. We're doing it right now. Doing it right now. We're doing should it right we, Should we just get liquid the lips first and just toast everybody? Yeah. Here, if you I'm have... Gonna... Brothers Bond in front of you. Yeah, I mean, this is a, uh, hold on. This is a, uh, it's actually ginger ale. Hold on. Not anymore. Bunch of ice to mine. All right, guys. So we have that or we have our tasting kit, our tasting glass. Oh, yeah, we just, we crushed this bottle. So this is to you all. This is to our team. This is to you all. This is to the bourbon community for, for, for welcoming us. And you have helped us build this company and make it what it is. Brother Paul, we are part of Bourbon Heritage Month, uh, humbly and gratefully. Learning about this every day has just been such a magnificent thing. So to everyone in the bourbon community and out there, thank you. Cheers to you all. Cheers to you all, guys. Lots Raise your love. glasses. Cheers, brother. Cheers, buddy. Clink. Wow. It's very different uh, when it's not just ginger. <laughs> so I know that we have, we have, uh, you know, listen. Why, why do we do this? Why do we want to sit and, and hang out and talk to you all? Obviously, it's Bourbon Heritage Month. We want to kick that off properly and say thank you to the bourbon community and thank you to all for this. Our distribution partners, uh, our retailers, big and small, um, our customers, our team, everyone. Um, and talk, take some questions. You know, we have some questions from you all. And just basically say, you know, for those of you who have, don't know us. I'm Ian. That's Paul. But obviously, we played Vampire Brothers. And you know those boys. 
bonded over bourbon on screen. Paul and I bonded off, uh, over bourbon off screen. What a special time uh, to be doing this. And, you know, we get asked the question all the time, why? Well, actually, let's just go, let's go through the questions. Let's look at them, you know? I have a question. Tell me. Uh, are your baby blue eyes considered a lethal weapon in the state of California? Yes, I have them insured. Um, they are a lethal weapon. Do you have a permit for them? Yeah, Mel, Mel Gibson uh, taught me how to, um, you know, to go through the whole lethal weapon. Oh, thing. weapon. Yeah. And, uh, okay. yeah, and um, so old teachings of Bruce Lee and I learned. Great. Let's get to the fan question. <laughs> I mean, we are each other's biggest fan, Paul. Bourbon. Uh, and people are, I, people are leaving us now because we're just, uh, you know, we're just talking about uh, Mel Gibson and, and Bruce Can you blame I, I, I don't blame them. But what's so awesome about this is um, the, the questions that we got from the audience are uh, one of them from, um, what is your favorite thing uh, about working together? Paul? I mean, yeah. it's been so long. We're just, we don't even think, we just... We finish each other's sentences, and it's actually been really strategic, like a really incredibly structurally, because we've yeah. known each other for so long. We work so well. You go first, dude. You were number two on the call sheet. I was number three, so you go first. Even though I'm older. Um, I, I I would say the best thing about working together is the fact that you and I are actually, even though we agree on virtually everything, we actually are very different people. And I, we were doing. We I was talking about this today in the interview, in one of the interviews. We are polar opposites in so many ways, but yet we complement one another. You know, I am glass half uh, empty. Ian is glass. <laughs> I think everything is going to fall apart. Ian thinks everyone's, everything's going great. And it's really nice because sometimes I need that positivity. And sometimes he needs the reality check. And I think that uh, if we were too similar, we probably wouldn't uh, gel well. But the fact that we are so different actually allows us to you know, really, I think it enhances uh, the way this, this bourbon was created in, in our friendship. Yeah, 100%. And by the way, you know, the cool thing about it is, and this is something we were talking about all morning, um, was, you know, in business, obviously, well, first of all, like Paul said, we do, we love working together. Um, and we've now done it for so many years that we, we bypass a lot of the, the stuff that you typically would go through in a professional environment because Paul and I were forced, not forced, but we had to be such a team for so long that, that we bypass a bunch of the kind of the bullshit, meaning of course you have to be respectful of everyone's perspective, right? And, and thoughts and stuff. But like, if I have an idea that I, you know, I tell Paul about an idea and he literally will look at me sometimes and go, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And then I'll think about it and I'll go, Oh, you know what? Shit. You're right. That's not going to work. But most people, you can't say that sort of stuff to people because it's super incendiary. Uh, and Paul and I just cut through it. Cut through the BS. Cut through the cheese, Paul. Um, oh, you got one too, huh? Oh, yeah, buddy. So, uh, so uh, what's, the, uh, what's the next question? The next one is, how did By you the come way, guys, I just wanted to say I, I, two things I want to really quickly note. Number one. I'm reading all your comments, so thank you. Number two, we just hit 1.6 million followers on Instagram on Brothers Bond Bourbon. Yes. Brothers Bond Bourbon is the most followed alcohol brand in the world globally on Instagram. And that is so fun, right? Like, this is a special place for content for, 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 for you and for our company. Like, this is our baby, right? So thank you. Yeah, that's a, that is amazing. So thank you. Um, the next question, dog, I just said, so how did we come up with the name Brothers Bomb Bourbon? It's really funny. Uh, we have been, so obviously, mind you, this is 10 years in the making, right? Like, we, 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 we've been talking about doing this bourbon for literally 10 years. And we were trying to come up with a name. And finally, we had a meeting, you know, and we had ideas, but we had a meeting our first major pitch meeting, which will, the company will go on name, but I will tell you, it is literally one of the largest retailers on the face of the planet, literally. And Vincent Hanna, our CEO, 
you know, called us and said, listen, guys, I get you're taking a long time with the name. It makes sense. I dig it. But here's the reality. On Monday morning, which is in three days, <laughs> you have a meeting with one of the biggest retailers on the face of the planet, and this will change the trajectory of your company. We need a name. <laughs> and so Paul and I are firing like a thousand of these names. And, uh, and again, he was making fun of me. He's like, that's the dumbest name I've ever heard. And I was like, you're right. That, that would not be What was one of the names you came up with? Remember, remember the one I was like, Brothers Supreme. Supreme. <laughs> Guys, Brothers Supreme. Brother Vaughn was called Brothers Supreme Bourbon. <laughs> Paul almost spit in my face when I came up with that name. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty, it was pretty funny. And, but then we came up, you know, the idea all obviously was always bringing people together. We came, you know, we were just firing off these names and then we, I don't remember who said it. it was like, you know, brothers eternal, brothers supreme, brothers classic, brother this, brother that. And I, think, I don't remember who it was. I guess it was you. Like, oh, what about oh. brothers Bond? And we it went. Was me. It was me. Yes. And your reaction, your reaction go, your reaction, you're like, you, I think you said something sarcastic. You were like, actually, you're like, you're like, you finally had a good idea, Paul. Ah, that's, that's what right. Was. That's right. I was like, finally, you had a great idea, Paul. Yeah. Finally. For finally. What? For once, you said something that's not stupid. But yeah, we were firing them off. Oh my gosh, the chain of messages was insane. But it was really special. And, and by the way, Brothers Bond, that is the, that is not only the ethos, but like this is the, that's the bond, right? These boys bonded. Uh, when you're drinking this, you bond. And there's so many meanings. There's so much subtext to Brothers Bond. It's uh it's such it's a nod to our characters it's a nod to us it's a nod to the sense of bonding when you're sharing a spirit with someone uh a, a bourbon in particular um it, it's like you know i mean there's so much that's why the minute you and i came up with it we knew immediately that was the one yeah 100 percent. um so next question is do you guys think um You'll make other formulas of bourbon in the future, 100%. We have line extensions. We have an eight-year-old program, um, eight-year bourbon, one year in the barrel for every year on screen together, which is really special. Um, Paul, what do we have? Uh, cast strength. Cast. Uh, yeah, and we're bond. doing bottle and bond. We're, we're exploring a rye. I mean, there's so many iterations, and, and yeah, it's going to continue to uh, to expand. Not, but, you know. but it will always have the same DNA. Like, this is our flagship. We are so in love um, with this blend. And so everything, you know, even as we go out and do other things, will always come back to this taste, right, um, in, in variations, which we're really, uh, really, really, really excited about. So check this out. Um, what is your biggest memory? What, sorry, what is your best memory together? Holy shit, man. There's been so <laughs> many, <laughs> so many hey, memories. Remember, uh, when we were, uh, I, I mentioned this, uh, oh, I think, I think I did it on a serious XM podcast. You remember when we were on the, uh, on it, chilling out in that garden in that like medieval castle oh. your... in, 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 in Birmingham. Yeah. We had a bottle of bourbon, we had Cuban cigars, and it was just like a brother's date. It was just Paul and I. It was we a brother's that, It was a brother's bond. We went to that badass uh, um, restaurant in, in, the, in the British countryside, so amazing. And then we went back to this old 13th century castle and we're on like walking through these gardens and it's super misty, really like gorgeous. And we're, and we're just bonding, man, drinking bar bourbon, smoking cigars and just talking about like life and love and our show and art. And it was just this like unbelievable sort of ethereal, like mystical moment. And, and also too, you know, it's like Henry the eighth was walking around there having conversations with people and, you know, it just goes way, way, way back. That that was a really special one, man. That was a really special. That restaurant is called 
That restaurant's called The Cock. That's right. That's right. Which is the which is rooster. Thick, thick ass restaurant. Yeah, that was amazing. That's right. Yeah. I love that memory, bro. Um, the rest of all the other memories I have with Paul were shit. That one was amazing. We've had so many. Yeah. So- how did you guys how did you guys know um, that you were perfect for each other as partners? Well, Warner Brothers told us we were. Yeah, they made us. Actually, when we first met, getting at that fitting for our fangs, which I'm sure people are so tired of hearing about, but like, for those of you who don't know it, when we got, when we met to get uh, our fangs fitted, they had to get these acrylic fangs that are super sharp um, and kind of dangerous when I would bite into people. But Paul, <laughs> Paul was like, yo, what's up, man? He went to get to shake my hand, and I just grabbed him, and I hugged him. And uh, I thought, man, this is the dude I'm going to spend, like, the next five years of my life with. Cut to 12 years later. 12 years. I, I definitely, like, I remember when I wanted to audition for the role of Damon, or forgive me, I auditioned for the role of Damon, and they were like, you're not right for the part. I was like, all right. And I was like, what about Stefan? And they were like, no, you're too old. And then they, and, and then I was like, oh, bummer. And I forgot about the show. And then a month goes by and I get a call and they're like, oh, they cast um, this guy, Ian Sommerholder from Lost. Uh, and they think maybe you could play his brother um, because he's older than you, uh, his, his younger brother. So I went and Googled and I looked at, and I was like, you know, I think I could be his brother, actually. And, um, and, uh, and that's it. The rest was history. The rest was history. By the way, dude, you aced your, you aced your shit. I was, I failed my first, um, well, I got past the studio test. That's and then, you know, I gave Peter Roth and everybody a hug and, and went home. I was so stoked and so jazzed. But you have, you know, for any of you who have never, or like getting a television show it's the process is brutal i mean it sucks it's stressful and so you go and you do a series of work sessions and tests and stuff and then on the final testing process you go to the studio which is warner brothers and then if you pass the studio i mean if they all say yes then you go to the network which is the cw and then you've got to pass that test well i went to the network and I, i i blew it and you walk in and it's like this small theater, but like stadium seating and people are texting. Cause they're all like, it's like the eighth test they've had to be in that day during policy. And they're texting their assistants and you know, your sound only goes about four feet from you and whatever, man, I'm not making excuses, but I don't know if I had like too much B12, you know, I gave myself like a B12 shot and I had like two cups of coffee. And I think I was just sort of jittery. And I blew it. And after the first take, Kevin Williamson, he goes, excuse me, everybody. We'll be right back. And he takes me outside the room. The door closes. And he goes, well, that sucked. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, I know, man. He goes, dude, just do what you did in the studio test. Just own it. This is your world. And And man, I almost, yeah, I almost didn't get to show. I had to go back and retest, remember? Dude, I, I read for it. I'm not exaggerating. You can ask Julie and Kevin. I think I read for it like 15 times. It's not like I just did the studio okay. test, then the network test, and that was it. I actually didn't do a network test. It was just the studio. They sent my tape. But anyway, I literally, they, they, they couldn't make up their mind. They kept having me go in over and over and over and over. Dude, it was nuts. It was such psychological warfare. I didn't leave till like 10 p.m. that night. I think I got wow. there at noon, and I left at 10 p.m. There was like 14 other guys testing. It was wow. crazy. Yeah, man. I lost like five pounds that week. I waited and waited and waited. When I had to go retest, I get a call from my manager the next that the night before. My agent, uh, my agent, my manager called and said, "Listen, Obama is in town tomorrow, so <laughs> everything is like shut off. So you've got to get to the studio or to the network really, really, really early." And of course, you know, I couldn't like sleep and stuff. And I had this thing uh, where. And, and it's happened, fortunately. Fortunately, I've booked every show I've ever done this with. At night before a test, I sleep with my sides under my pillow. 
And I was restless and I kept moving. And every time I would move, I would hear my sides go like, you know, and then I'd get up and I'd read them. But I got there early enough and man, those are wild memories. It's 2009, bro. Crazy. Anyway, sorry, I don't mean to, we, we, get, we get super nostalgic. And uh, let me get to the last question. Oh, last question? That was the last question. That was the last question. All right, well. It was a good one. I mean, listen, we, I know we kept you all a lot longer than you wanted to be here. And, you know, I'm just like everybody else. I have the attention span of a mosquito. So, <laughs> so much media and stuff, so much stuff going through our minds, but or through our, our, our spheres. But we just really thank you for having a toast with us. Thank you for being a part of Brothers Bond and building this with us. We love you. We appreciate you. To our team, to our distribution partners, to our retailers, again, both small and huge, and to you, the customers, the people who are taking this home to drink it. Paul and I appreciate you. We salute you, and we thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers, everyone. Thank you all. Happy Bourbon Heritage Month. Thank you for making Brothers Bond break records and blow our minds. We're going to work even harder to bring you uncompromising quality. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, brother. Love you, man. Love you, See too. See you later in like 20 minutes. All right. <laughs> Bye, bud. Bye, everyone. We love you.